Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, where I have a couple of videos coming up in a short succession. This is the first one. I'm going to be targeting, pra well, I'm not tar practicing. <laughs> I'm uh, taking a couple of torpedo boats and sinking a battleship. But torpedo boats come with no armor, so let's see if this is going to work. If you want to watch the whole stream, including the chat, you can link to, or you can follow the link in the description to another video. But I prefer to usually watch shorter videos instead of a long stream, which is why this is the first one of the uh, shorter videos edited from the long stream. And in fact, I failed a good number of them. Torpedo the Dreadnought. Approach and destroy a heavy dreadnought using torpedoes. How about going for a couple of torpedo tubes? Uh, I'm going to build a torpedo boat or a destroyer. Mm, I think multiple torpedo boats for 7 million. One battleship is the target. Enemy has a maximum speed of 21 knots. Okay. I think optimizing for torpedo propulsion would be more useful. So I can stay at range. And I think that if you go for electric torpedoes, provided that I have those, we're going to see that these things have a range of 7,000. At which I might still be outside the range of that dreadnought. Let's hope so. Now it is a stream of course, so uh, join in if you have any design suggestions. Uh, let me know if you have any uh, cool ideas for something that we can throw up in this game. You loathe this mission? Oh, okay. That's going to be interesting then. Now start up with upgrading the armor to make it less heavy. Uh, steam expansion, engine... I'm gonna build 5 DDs. How big can I make this? 1000 tons. That's not a whole lot. Bulkheads. I'm not even sure if bulkheads are going to be required. Because this thing hits me once and I'm pretty much dead anyway. Uh, range 14 clicks. Okay. Torpedo propulsion. Electric. Minus 75% torpedo detection. Oh, it's only 15% torpedo range. I thought it was 50, but that was the fast torpedoes. Right. Okay, in that case, I'm going to go for the electric torpedoes. 19 inch. I don't think we need a rangefinder particularly much, because I don't intend to fire and give my position away. Just one <laughs> 2 inch gun, because I'm not really likely to kill the guy anyway. Let's see, first the tower. We already have a 4 weight offset. If I put it over here, 4 weight offset is only 4, 6. Okay, that's survivable. Alright, what's my... Um, ooh, engine efficiency leaves something to be desired. There we go, that's better. Now, an auxiliary engine. I think that this might not really benefit this destroyer that much. Standard bulkheads, single bottom. I'm <laughs> Any battleship shell hits this ship and it's good night anyway. So it doesn't really matter what sort of defenses I put onto it. I mean, I have 0 0.3 inch belt armor. <laughs> what am I expecting? Torpedo launchers then. One, two, three, four. There's a bit of an aft weight offset going on. Can I get that gun any further forward? Or make it as a bigger caliber to make sure it's heavier? Yeah, that would do. Okay, so I drop 10 torpedoes into the water. And I build two DDs. Right. These things have a reload. And they carry eight ammo. So that will result in um, eight ammo times five launchers. That's 40 torpedoes times two destroyers. That should be enough to sink a battleship, one would think. If it hits. Try the torpedo boat. Okay. You will build 27 torpedo boats. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, front tower one. I don't care about accuracy that much. 
Then a main gun, a two incher. Uh, a funnel. Standard funnel. This thing still has a four weight offset of 11%. Wow. I might need to move the front tower back. There. This thing is so light. I mean, it, it's 350 tons. That is all. <laughs> sure. Okay, deck tubes. One here, one here, and one there. Some parts are badly placed. No, we're fine. I have a bit of an aft weight offset, but I don't think I can fix that much about that. I just keep these things together. I have four weight offset now, and I still need to add a couple of torpedo tubes. I want one here. There, now I can balance it out pretty perfectly. Uh, 0 0.3. There we are. Okay, 9 torpedo boats. Meaning... Oh, and I do want the upgrade to the 19 inches, And I want the electric torpedoes. I'm going to build 6 torpedo boats. These things have a cruising speed of 24. Which might be a little slow. But I cannot really up it. Or, well, maybe a little. Some pa parts are badly placed. Yeah, that would be the front or the main tower. Four weight offsets, pretty high. This thing is starting to remind me of the Okotnik in World of Warships. 9.7% engine efficiency. Look at this armor. Disabled. Because who cares about armor in this day and age? It's a torpedo boat. Oh well. Survivability is optional, I guess. It's a bit like the Coast Guard. You're supposed to go out, but returning is optional. Four torpedo boats. Weight offset... Mm, 0.2, I guess. Now, I have eight launchers. Sorry, I have... Yeah, I have eight tubes. Um, eight reloads per launcher, or eight ammo per launcher. So, with the four of them, I don't think I'm going to need any reloads. Let's try this. It's not going to be a particularly fast torpedo boat. Really, you couldn't put all four of them in the same group. There. Alright, here's our tar- Oh shit, our target's really close. Um, guys, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Because I would hate for you to give your own position away and die instantly. I don't think we need to do a target motion analysis. It probably hasn't seen us. Torpedoes away. Lead torpedo boat. Second torpedo boat. The porcupine has launched. The ferret and the coquette are still going to be maneuvering. And will take a little bit of time before they actually get those torpedoes away. Anyway, keep their distance. Now he is maneuvering, but I don't think he's going to see the torpedoes coming, since they are electric torpedoes. They're going to be very hard to spot. I'm just kind of hoping that my ships don't accidentally torpedo each other. Which, you know, is always a... Fairly real risk in these scenarios. There, the ferret just launched. Mm, 
No, that's never going to hit. He's still maneuvering. His first salvo is a dud. The second salvo probably doesn't do anything either. The third? No, I don't trust it. Okay. Let's make sure that none of these tubes are going to be launching. Nobody fire, unless otherwise directed. I want to send out a big set of torps. All ships, follow me. For everyone just tuning into the stream, welcome. Good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you. Just doing some ships today, having some fun with the designs, seeing what's possible. And I did hear about a, um, I suppose you could call it a cheat code of some sort, where it unlocks all the parts. Oh shit, porcupine's taking fire. Um, where you can unlock, unlock all, blah, where you can unlock all the parts, and you can make some really crazy designs with that. So I might check that out later. We might have a couple of torpedo hits here on the Diderot. Boom. All right, knocked out his propulsion a fair bit. What's your speed like? 18.9. Despite having two damaged engines? Really? Oh, he's not amused. He is not amused at all. Come on, porcupine, please survive that. What's he firing back at me? 14 inch. Oh crap. Alright, porcupine's ready to launch. Coquette, not so much. Ferret, not so much. And the fairy, almost. Unfortunately, these things don't exactly have a smokescreen capability, which would be ideal. Just send some torpedoes, smoke up, and run away. Yeah, I don't have it. No smoke. Alright, let's speed it along a little. How's he doing? Oh, he took a fair bit of damage from flooding. 19 inch torpedo sure hit hard. And especially if you have few bulkheads, you're going to really notice the impacts of those. Yikes! Oh, the porcupine got really lucky there. I think one hit could very easily wipe out that whole ship. I want you to slow down a little to allow the porcupine to join formation properly. He is broadside on. No, he's actually heading away. And yeah, there's inertia going, of course. Oh shit, he's still flooding? What's your speed? 8.6 knots. Oh, buddy. Are you in trouble? Ready, ready, ready. Ready. Hold. Okay. Fire when ready. Fire when ready. Fire when ready, and fire when ready. The coquette has sent, the ferret has sent, the fairy has sent, and the porcupine has also sent. We're going to be seeing 32 torpedoes moving towards that target at various different angles. So hopefully this will finish him off. Maintain course, and we're going to be changing it a little to get closer. Look at that. Fortunately, they're going to be fanning out. And with that, hopefully covering a larger area. Because if he just decides to turn starboard with his uh, 8.2 knots, he might avoid the torpedoes. I do find it interesting how some of these torpedoes are really clubbed, uh, clunched up or bunched up like this. And some of them from the other torpedo boats are more of a, a widespread. And then you got this cluster. This is five tor no, six torpedoes, almost on top of each other. I'm gonna have to catch this guy, and I don't have too many torpedoes left. How much time do I have? Oh, I got 45 minutes. Unfortunately... 
I think he's going to avoid it all. Yeah, he's good. He's going to avoid it all. Alright. Now, if this uh, doesn't work a second time, I'm going to have to split them up, as uh, Jason suggested. Make sure that I get a torpedo angle from two different sides. Uh-oh. Torps out. Unfortunately, he only has one salvo left, so don't fire until I tell you to. Ferret just launched. The Coquette hasn't launched yet. Coquette just launched, and the Porcupine still slightly lagging behind. I think the Porcupine already launched. That's weird. Because they were all very, very synchronized in their torpedo launches. Now... Again, I think he's going to be avoiding most. Although this one, if he gets unlucky, could hit him right in the bow. Ooh. Right there. These must be from the porcupine. Looks like we're going to get another hit on the starboard side. Yep, starboard bow, flooding. And there are some more gifts on the way. Yeah, there it is. Flooding. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 20. I'm kind of feeling sorry for that battleship because it really does not stand very much of a chance. 12. They got it under control. Speed reduced to 5 knots. It can still be a very dangerous weapon platform, though. I need to make sure I don't get too close. Because that might very well be the last action that these guys take. Oh, like that. There goes the ferry. Another torpedo salvo, I think, from the porcupine? No. The coquette. Actually, hold. Oh, crap, he just launched... Oh, the ferret still has a couple of torps left. Alright. Let's hope that this last salvo is going to kill him. Because I'm running out of torpedoes. Splash damage will sink my own ships. Absolutely. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Is he really going to fit between these two torpedoes? He very well might. Turn in. Yep, it's going to fit beautifully between it. But this is a little different. I think this one might hit. Come on. Come on. Yes. Right on the stern. Which is perfect because that's an area where I hadn't caused flooding yet. And there she goes. With one parting. Could you please sink? I was telling people how you're sinking and then you're just... Somehow... Maintaining your ability to float. Tell me how that works. Kill him. Use the two inches. Look at that. Float. Zero percent. Just one more 19 inch hit. That's all I ask. So the game goes nope. Oh, there it is. Yep, got him. Alright. The unsinkable ship. Yeah, that's what they all think. <laughs> 